Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriage is till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body, and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella. Buonasera, signore. You made it. God's boats, man, are you done? That's it, this... The guards should lock you up a day or two till you come to your senses. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! They're done. He's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. They wouldn't try it. They'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it. <laughs> It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Che la morte non sia crudele. 
requiescat in pace. It seems like Ubisoft put most of the effort into this development to the Venice parts of this game, since we got the Carlo glider sequence from earlier, and now the Marco murdering is centered around the Carnivale celebration, because apparently Marco has bordered himself up in impenetrable closets all around Venice, only to coincidentally return to public appearances at Carnivale. This mission kicks off its unique plot by having Ezio put on a Carnivale mask, which makes him incognito for the entire mission, so he can get more easily around. The guards are probably all drunk at the moment anyway. After reuniting with some of the Venetian whores, it found out that Marco is hosting a private party for his one and only public appearance this month. It's very exclusive and the only way in is to win a legitimate golden mask that just so happens to be given to the public if they can win a bizarre set of challenges including combat, parkour, and pickpocketing the ladies. I bet you can tell who has all those skills ready and willing to go. Obviously, Ezio immediately wins all the challenges incognito and then fails to get the golden mask because the showrunner decided to just hand it to Dante, one of the Barbarigo's mercenaries, over the crowd's booze for no reason. Ezio steals the mask within two minutes of Dante having it and heads off to the party. In order to prepare for this mission, one of the codex pages that Ezio found and gave to Leonardo gave him the plans to build Ezio one of the most ridiculous weapons of this entire series, an arm-mounted pistol. Having the pistol equipped kinda breaks the game in half and is the only way to kill Marco. There are guards in and around every person at the party, but it's still an easy sneak job to get over to Marco's ship and shoot him in the beard. Heck, it's more of a hassle to get the targeting to work in the middle of a crowd than to actually get to him himself because he's as oblivious to hell to anyone wearing odd robes during Carnivale. The mission line for this one was really well done and put the effort into having Carnivale affect the sandbox and gameplay mechanics and the contest missions had some challenge to them were were pretty fun. The Capture the Flag game was my favorite of the four. So Marco's assassination is one of AC2's better moments and I'm glad to have been participating. 